In this video, we're going to have a look at the one-click downloader installer. We've introduced this with Ban in a Box 2022, and it is way easier now to download the program, download all of the content that goes along with it that you've ordered and paid for, and it makes it so much easier to actually install as well. So I'm going to take you through all of the steps, starting with an email that you would receive once you've placed your order. You would receive an email just like this. Now these links and serial numbers will be blurred out in the video, but basically this here is a clickable link right here. And then underneath is a serial number which you can use once Ban in a Box is installed. This here is another clickable link uh, because in this order, I've got the bonus 49 pack as well. But I'll click on this first one up here and that will take me to a web page. So this now is a web page similar to the one that you would go to once you click the link in your email. Now again, some of the info is blurred here. We have that same URL up here and the same serial number shown up here. We also have the URL shown in this area right here. So first of all, we're going to install the one-click downloader installer. So that has downloaded this exe that I'm now going to run. So now it's installed the one-click downloader installer and I'm just going to confirm the folders that everything is going to be installed into. My Ban in a Box folder is the default CBB. That's where I want it to go. That's where I have my existing one. The real tracks folder location will be in the same place. The drums folder location will be in the same place as well. In many cases, this will be the same for you. It, it may be on an external drive. Uh, it may be in another location, but it's wherever you have your Ban in a Box folder located. And this folder is where the installers will be downloaded to. Now you can see it's showing me right now I have 41 gigabytes free on my C drive and I'm going to automatically install the downloaded files once I get them. That means I'm not going to have to do anything myself and I do not have a check under automatically remove downloaded files once installed. This is actually a good thing to leave this unchecked because it's good to have the installers that you download here as a backup. Now they don't have to stay on your C drive. You can back them up on an external drive and keep them if you ever need to install them later. But now I'm gonna go back to here and in this is a URL that I'm gonna highlight and copy to the clipboard. Now I'm gonna go back here and enter the download URL and I will paste it from the clipboard and again, it's blurred out here, but this is now the exact location that I just copied and I'll hit OK. And here now are all the files that I'm going to be downloading and installing. The main Ban in a Box installer, HiQ Instruments for, for Sando, the free bonus zero pack, which will include one of those artist performance sets we looked at earlier, as well as a bunch of other good stuff. Playable Real Tracks Set 1 for Sforzando. These are the sounds that we'll be using for the Playable Real Tracks feature that we looked at earlier. And then here are all of the new Real Tracks in sets 376 to 400. In addition, I've also purchased the Bonus 49 pack, and that's included here separately, but we can download and install that as well. But I'll just show you first of all installing the main upgrade. So all I have to do now is press download and install all. So I press that and downloading has started. And you can see it's got three of these files downloading right now. The rest are in the queue. And once they're done, they'll automatically start installing. Now the main Ban in a Box installer here should be fairly quick to download. And you can see the ETA right now is one minute here. So we'll just wait for that one. This is the one installer that is actually going to require some feedback from you. You'll, it will prompt you to set the location and various other things. So that is the one thing that you do need to actually do once this opens up. But once you've actually installed the main Ban in a Box program, everything else will install automatically. And we can see that it is now very close to being ready to install. So now it automatically opens up the main Ban in a Box installer. So I'll just go through all of these steps. Read through this, of course. 
And now Band in a Box has finished installing, including the DAW plugin. And during that time, everything has finished downloading. And right now it's in the process of installing the playable real track set. Once that's finished, it's just going to automatically move to the real track sets 376 to 380 and all the rest and automatically install all of those. So I'll skip ahead in the video a little bit. All right, so now the install has been complete. All of these real track sets have been installed uh, and it's prompting me to actually launch Band in a Box. So I'll do that now. And then I could also do the same thing, but with the bonus 49 pack as well. So that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something about Band in a Box 2022. And uh, thanks for watching and have fun.